All right, hey guys, my name is Shadow, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Aliens! We have aliens, finally, and they're probably the Thargoids. Not that I've ever encountered the Thargoids before, I say that like I know who they are. I have no idea, I've only seen the other videos that every other single Elite Dangerous YouTuber has posted. So, what I thought we would do today is take a little trip and see if we can, well, you know, get interdicted in which space basically so we'll be taking a trip out to Maya ostensibly to upgrade our thrusters at Professor Palin and I am actually going to do that but since a lot of people are encountering the Thargoids in the Pleiades area well I mean that just happens to be where Professor Palin is so let's kill two birds with one stone and I guess we can even do the thruster results on here. Now, something that I haven't seen anyone do in any of these Thargoid interdiction videos is scan the Thargoid's wake. What What's up with that? A lot of people have scanned the ship and have received some data from it, but I've, I have yet to see anybody scan the Thargoid's wake. And it can be scanned because I've seen people target it and it says need scan. So I have not actually been interdicted by a Thargoid myself at this point so that's what we're gonna go do right now we're gonna go try and get interdicted by the Thargoids and and not only scan the ship but I have a wake scanner and we're gonna scan its wake and let's just make sure that we have data room in here okay so I've got 51 available slots for data cool so next time I see you guys we will either be upgrading the thrusters on this thing to grade 5 or will be getting interdicted by a Thargoid vessel. So, we have nine jumps to get to Maya. So, nine chances to get interdicted. Here we go. Drive so, I have just entered the Hyades sector. Now, in the case that we don't get an encounter in the Pleiades sector, I've also heard of people being interdicted in the Ares Dark region. And I, I think I've also read of encounters happening, well, in this sector, in, in the Hyades sector. So, in the case that we are not interdicted in the Pleiades area, well, well, we'll try somewhere else. We're going to get an interdiction in this video. Let's continue on. Alright, we have four jumps to go on our course to Maya. And our next jump actually takes us into the Ares Dark region, so let's see if anything happens on our way here. Okay, no unusual activity in the Ares Dark region. Well, in, in the transit to that system, anyways. So our next jump will take us to the Pleiades sector. So, hopefully this will happen pretty soon. Here goes our next jump. Alright, nothing on that jump, but we have another jump into a Pleiades sector star system. So, we have a couple of more chances. Let's see how many more jumps we have. We have two more jumps to Maya, so we have this jump and the next jump to be interdicted before we stop at Professor Palin's base and upgrade our thrusters to grade 5. And then, if we haven't been interdicted by then, well, we'll have to go out looking more. Another successful jump. Well, we're only one jump away from Professor Palin now, so if the Thargoids are going to interdict us, it better be on this jump. Well, we've safely arrived in the Maya star system with no interdiction from the Thargoids whatsoever. So, we will land at Palin Research Center, we'll upgrade our thrusters in the ASP Explorer to Grade 5 Dirty Drive Tuning, and then we'll set a course for a known system where uh, an interdiction has occurred in the past. And that's, that's what we're going to do, I guess. So, I will see you guys in a moment when we land at Palin Research Center. I'm just arriving at Palin Research Center right now. Do you guys think that this uh, this cruiser up here, this capital ship right above Palin Research Center has something to do with the Thargoids? I mean, I, I thought that before it was something to do with the Federation wanting to claim territory before the Empire did, but now with the discovery of alien life and the galaxy, 
I'm wondering if it's not something to do with that. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if you guys have any theories on that topic. All right, so I've just arrived here at Palin Research Center, and I just wanted to go into the outfitting screen really quick, and we're gonna take a look. So our top speed here is 343 meters per second, and that's with grade two dirty drive tuning. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the thrusters and we'll hit modifications, and we can see we do indeed have grade two dirty drive tuning. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove the modification because I like to just start fresh when I do a new upgrade on the same thing. Now what I should have done in retrospect was just put on a fresh pair of thrusters and save these for something else, but I did not have the foresight to do that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this modification. Now I, I understand that a new, a new modification will overwrite this, but again, I just like to, to do this. So let's go ahead and remove that. Now our top speed with just stock thrusters is 290 meters per second. So I think I've got two rolls for grade five dirty drive tuning. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we are, grade five. And yes, indeed, I have two rolls because I've only got two remaining things of cracked industrial firmware, but that's okay because the lowest roll that we can possibly get is a 25% increase in our optimal multiplier. And I'm okay with that because it's better than what I had. But I would like the maximum roll. So if we have to do it twice, then so be it. I can get more firmware. I just hadn't because, well, I didn't. Look at that, 29% on the first go. Okay, everything else here is terrible, but that's fine. Please don't give me any crappy secondary effects that take the optimal multiplier way down because 29%, amazing. Even increased power draw is fine. Ooh, look at that, optimal mass, in well, not increase, but slightly less of a decrease. Okay, cool. Let's apply that. That was awesome. Thank you, Professor Palin. Now, let's go check our top speed here in the outfitting thing. It is now 371 meters per second, and our boost speed is now over 500 meters per second. That's awesome. The Asp Explorer is a very versatile little ship. Sometimes underrated, I think. Anyways. I bet it's also a lot more maneuverable now. So we did not get a Thargoid encounter the entire way here. Now I've also heard that it helps if we have an unknown artifact in our hold. And to that end, I think Professor Palin also sells a unique item if we go into our optional internal components. Now I'm gonna have to sacrifice something in here to put that in and I'm probably not gonna need my detailed surface scanner for this. So let's hit this. And here is what Professor Palin sells. He sells corrosion resistant cargo racks. Now I'm going to get the, the two ton capacity corrosion resistant cargo rack. Now, as long as we have this, when we pick up an unknown artifact, theoretically it shouldn't cause any damage to our ship and that would be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy this. I'll just store my detailed surface scanner. I can always put that back in later. I could probably just buy another one, but if I come back here, well, he doesn't sell them. So whatever, we'll go ahead and put that in. All right, so to start this search off, we're going to go get an unknown artifact and put it in a corrosion resistant cargo rack. So to that end, I've set a course for HIP 14479, where there are usually an abundance of unknown or of anomaly detected unknown signal sources. So, let's get there. All right, I've just found an anomaly detected USS, and this is, of course, in HIP 14479, and that's like UA Mecca, basically. So what we're gonna do now is drop into this signal source and target the thing, and it'll probably scan us because that's usually what they do. And we're gonna open up our cargo hold, and we're going to put this thing in it and I'm gonna actually push the right button. And then we're just gonna start jumping into the Ares dark region until some Thargoid ship interdicts us. Oh, look, it's making weird noises. Okay, here we go. And we have a successful capture. All right, cargo acquired. Let's make sure it's in there. Unknown artifact stolen. Okay, now it shouldn't do a lot of damage to the ship because I have that corrosion resistant cargo rack. But I also have a regular cargo rack, so I hope it's not just sitting in the regular one. 
I would hope it would go into the corrosion resistant one. Anyways, so we can see several sectors of the Ares Dark Region right here, or several systems of the Ares Dark Region here. So we'll just select one kind of at random and then jump into it. All right, here we go. Let's hope for an interdiction. And we're now in hyperspace, jumping into the Ares Dark Region. Is anything gonna happen? It doesn't seem like anything's happening yet. Everything seems normal. Probably going to arrive at our destination. Yep, okay. Nothing unusual about that jump. Alright, let's let's just plot jumps to more sectors of the Ares Dark Region. Just kind of at random here. And we'll just keep doing that until we actually get interdicted in which space. Alright. Here we are in which space. So come on, Thargoids. I've got one of your probe thingies. I bet you want it back. No? Well, I guess I'll just keep it then. It's worth a lot of money. Hmm. Okay. Well, on with the plan. I wonder if the range of the jump has anything to do with how likely we are to get interdicted. Now this jump is going to be 19.4 light years, and it is by no means the farthest jump we can possibly take. If this doesn't do it, I think we'll just start taking longer jumps and, and see what happens. All right, I've just plotted a jump for a sector of the Ares Dark Region that is about 39 light years away. So let's take that jump and see what happens. Oh, this is actually the Pleiades sector. Well, that's okay, because they apparently show up in the Pleiades sector as well. So, we can do that. Let's do that. We're not really having any luck with the Ares Dark Region. They may not even be in the Ares Dark Region. Alright, well, I've just spent about an hour, maybe a little bit more, jumping around in Pleiades, the Ares, and the Hyades sectors. And I've had zero encounters, I've even got an unknown artifact in my hold, which allegedly is supposed to increase the likelihood of your being interdicted by a Thargoid vessel, and nothing, nothing whatsoever, so I don't know. There will probably be more videos on this topic in the future, but at the moment, well, I've, I've found nothing. I don't know how everyone else is managing to to get these encounters to happen, but I'm just not. I'm I've jumped pretty well back into the bubble by now, and I'm, I mean nothing. Nothing has happened. I've had zero encounters, so that's really disappointing. I'm sorry we didn't get to you know see a cool Thargoid vessel and and scan its wake. I really wanted to scan its wake. I haven't seen anyone do that yet, but yeah. I got nothing. So we'll go out looking again. Uh, maybe a live stream of that. Let me know if you guys would like to see that in a live stream. Um, but yeah. So that's that's pretty much going to be it for this video, guys. I'm, I'm sorry we didn't encounter a Thargoid, but I, I can't control the RNG. What can I do? So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you thought down in the comments. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. That's it for me, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.